Hello, uh, my name is Niall Peppers. I am the art teacher at Westminster Special Schools and I'll be talking you through this video, accompanied by the music we listen to in class. This video is for parents and carers to support a range of students with varying needs and interests. Please feel free to just focus on the parts that you find useful. Thanks. Art, water play. This video gives guidance as to how we support students sensory experiencing and understanding of material qualities with a focus on wet play. Objects of reference, paintbrush. Water play is typically a sign for the closing stages of a session, but where it is the main activity, we start by communicating the start of an art session with an art symbol, but also a paintbrush as an object of reference. A student can look, hold and feel this object. As an experience, we can run the brush from hand to fingertips or give small circular motions on their shoulder or cheek. Hand massage. To wake up the hands for maximum sensitivity and interaction. Object of reference. The tub, pot or tube of cream can be held, squeezed and seen, and most importantly be presented to be smelt by the student to build anticipation for the upcoming experience. Applying the cream. Where a child is ready to engage, the hand massage can serve purely as a secondary indicator for the beginning and end of a session. For stiffer hands and students who experience their surroundings with hand-over-hand -hand support, an extended hand massage is preferable. If highly motivated by hand massage and communication is emerging, we can use appropriate communication techniques. Where any anxiety or anticipation exists, we can use a now and next chart to help the student to anticipate and guide the student into the next activity. Here, hand massage may be highly motivating and so supports a student to settle to begin an activity. Water play, hot and cold water. Here we use water as a vehicle for experiencing temperature. We can hear it in a bottle or pouring by our ear and watch it being poured in front of our eyes. Firstly, with hot water, the student can explore the tightly sealed bottle independently or have the experience enabled by a teacher on hand, arm and cheek. The water should be hot but comfortable, like a hot water bottle or bath temperature. Next, we use a cold bottle from the fridge or freezer. Where the student can request or reach for the bottle, where they are communicating an interest in the material, we can put a small amount of water in a smaller bottle to prompt them to ask for help. We can then show the student pouring organizing the material with cups and sharing it out. This will typically end in exploring the water with their hands. Having only given the student a small amount of water, this may also prompt them to request for more or allow us to offer more. Where the exploration is being supported by a teacher, we can slowly pour the hot and cold water onto their hands and arms, looking for awareness and response. This activity can be extended with a variety of sponges where we can support the action of grasping, squeezing and watching or feeling the water fall.
With highly visually interested students, you can set the tray up near a window, reflecting the sky, but not the sun, and gently tip the tray and drip droplets of water to help support focus and maintain interest. This can be supported by sharing that interest with the student. Where water play in itself isn't motivating enough, we can support wet play with toys. Thank you for listening to this presentation.